Hello, you're welcome to solve for x in this nice algebra equation. Here, let's take 3 over 64 to this side. And here we have x squared minus s cubed minus 3 over 64 now equals to 0 from here. Then, we can write minus 3 over 64. And this same thing as minus 4 over 64 plus 1 over 64. And also here, we can reduce this. And 4 goes here. We have minus 1 over 16. Then plus 1 over 64. Then here we can replace minus 3 over 64 as this. And this becomes x square minus x cube then minus 1 over 16 plus 1 over 64 now equals to 0 on this side then here we can also write this as x square minus x cube then minus 1 over 4, here yeah, 1 over 4 square, we speed the same thing as 1 over 16, then we have also plus, here yeah, we can write this as 1 over 4 raised to power 3, then equals to 0 from here. Then let's bring the squares together, here yeah, we can write this as x square minus 1 over 4 squared then here we have minus x cube then plus 1 over 4 also all raised to power 3 now equals to 0 from here and when we solve further from what we have here we can also bring minus out here and this becomes x square minus 1 over 4 all squared then minus then here we have into bracket x cube then minus 1 over 4 also all raised to power 3 close brackets now equals to 0 from here then here we have this together and also we have these together now when we apply the identity we have here, for this one we have difference of two squares which is a square minus b square and this will become a plus b then into brackets a minus b and for this one we have difference of two cube that this one we have a cube minus b cube here this become a minus b then multiply by a square plus a b plus b squared now applying this to what we have here where a here is x and b is 1 over 4 then for this first part here here this become x plus 1 over 4 then into bracket also we have x minus 1 over 4 into bracket then minus the second bracket follows from here and this becomes x minus 1 over 4 then close bracket open bracket x square plus x times 1 over 4 that gives us x over 4 then also 1 over 4 square that gives us plus 1 over 16 then close bracket which is equals to 0 from there and here we have x minus 1 over 4 common we can factor that out and this will give us x minus 1 over 4 then into bracket what is left here we have x plus 
1 over 4. Then here we are left with minus into bracket x square plus x over 4. Then plus 1 over 16. Then we close this bracket equals to 0 from here. If you are enjoying this class, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe for more videos. Thank you. Now here, this minus open this bracket and this we still have x minus 1 over 4. Then into bracket, here we have x plus 1 over 4. Then here we have minus x square. Then minus x over 4. Then minus 1 over 16. Close bracket equals to 0 from here. Then here we can rearrange this and this becomes x minus 1 over 4. Then into bracket here we have minus x square. Then plus x minus x over 4. Then plus 1 over 4 minus 1 over 16. Close bracket now equals to 0 from here. Then when we reduce this, this becomes x minus 1 over 4. Then into bracket we have minus x square. Then this becomes plus 3x over 4. Then also we have plus 3 over 16 here. Close bracket now equals to 0 from here. Then from what we have here, we have two possible cases. The first one here, we have x minus 1 over 4 equals to 0. Or we have minus x square plus 3x over 4 plus 3 over 16 equals to 0. Then, when we solve on this side, taking minus 1 over 4 there become plus. So we have x equals to 1 over 4 on this side. Then also, when we solve on this side, we can multiply through by minus 1 first, such that this become x square minus 3x over 4 minus 3 over 16. Now equals to 0 from here. Then also clearing this fraction here and multiply through by 16. Then here 16 times x square. This will give us 16 x square. Then minus 16 times 3x over 4. That will remain 12. That will remain minus 12x. Because 4 we go in 16, that's 4, and 4 times 3x, that's 12x. Then we have minus 3 here, which is equals to 0 from here. And this quadratic equation here, we have a to be 16, and b to be minus 12, and c to be minus 3. So now, x here will now be equals to, from the formula, minus minus 12. Then plus or minus square root of minus 12 square, then minus 4 times 16 times minus 3, then over 2 times 16. And when we solve from here, we have x now equals to this minus times minus become plus, so we have 12 plus or minus here we have square root of minus 12 square that's 144 then plus because this minus times minus become plus then 4 times 16 times 3 we have 192 then over 2 times 16 here we have 32 and here this gives us x to be equals to 12 plus or minus square root of 144 plus 192, we have 336, then over 32. And here, we can write root 336 
and this can be separated as square root of 16 times 21 and since root 16 is 4 so we can write it as 4 root 21 then what we have here will now become x equals to 12 plus or minus 4 root 21 then over 32 then also from here 4 is common from what we have that is x can now be written as 4 into bracket 3 plus or minus root 21 now then over 32 and here 4 can go here 1 4 goes here 8 so we have x now equals to 3 plus or minus root 21 over 8 so also we have two other solutions from here making three solutions together then we can conclude that what we have from here x1 can be written as x1 same thing as 1 over 4 then x2 that's 3 plus 21 over 8 then x3 we have that as 3 minus root 21 over 8 and all together here we have these three solutions in this given problem so thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell and share this video and give it a thumbs up and see you next class bye for now